Paul tells Timothy, God has not given us a spirit of timidity or of fear, but of power and love and discipline. Therefore, do not be ashamed of the testimony of our Lord or me as prisoner, but join with me in the suffering for the gospel according to God. The writer of Hebrews said, The Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What will man do to me? Paul says, Don't be terrified of your opponents. Don't be alarmed by them. Don't be scared by what they can do. Notice he doesn't say if you have opponents. He just, he just assumes that it's going to happen. Because he already knows that the church at Philippi is already suffering in such a way that he suffered. Who were their adversaries? Well, first, the Jews. We know that at any place in the New Testament that the Jewish authorities were opposed to the gospel of Christ, so as the church had continued to grow in Philippi, no doubt the Jewish authorities were causing them much trouble and tribulation. But also the Gentiles, the Roman citizens. In the early days of the, of the New Testament church, the Christians were considered cannibalistic because they celebrated the Lord's Supper. They were considered um, paganistic because they only worshipped one deity instead of many. They were accused of all kinds of heinous things by the Gentiles and by the Romans. And so Paul knew they are already suffering for the cause of the gospel. But Paul says, don't be afraid of them. Don't be alarmed by what they can bring. Don't be terrified by what they say they're going to do or perhaps what they have already done to you. But who is our adversary? Who is our opponent? Our opponents is anyone who would oppose us, those who would fight against the life that we live, those who would fight against the work that we are seeking to perform, those who would fight against the proclamation of the gospel, those who would fight against the truth of Scripture, and ultimately, our adversary is the one who controlled these individuals, the devil. For we must understand that there are only two sides that you can fight on in this world. You are either for Christ or you are against him. You're either serving God or you're serving the devil. This is a hard concept for many people, sometimes even Christians, to understand that if someone is not a Christian, if someone is not actively serving the Lord Jesus Christ because they've repented of their sins and trusted in Christ, they are serving their father, the devil. No matter how sweet they are, no matter how kind they are, no matter how genteel they are, if you are not serving Christ, you're serving Satan. There are only two teams. Jesus says, he who is not with me is against me, and he who is not gathered with me scatters. 